basically we're a platform that uh, allows um, us to inspire the younger artists uh, to pursue their passion that's number one we are a platform that talks about uh, Philippine culture through the arts Well, this is our first show today called Hulma. It's uh, sponsored by Art House. Art House is actually a platform that allows us to tell a tale about Philippine culture through art. So one of our first projects is actually a collaboration with uh, Good Cup Coffee, who's a roaster. Our goal is really to be able to market local products into the international community. Um, our company is Good Cup Coffee. Uh, we roast coffee. Uh, we work directly with the farmers. We work with local farmers. We also work with farmers from other parts of the world. So every coffee that we roast and sell, we know the producer behind that. Our vision is to inspire the younger generation of artists to um, pursue their passion. So this hulma is, uh, it literally means to mold. Basically what we wanted to do was collaborate with uh, sculpture artists, uh, namely Anita Del Rosario, Jeff Albea, and Inan de Belen. These are young emerging artists that used to have a different background. the platform of Art House is that we take a look at the Philippine talent and see what their potential is. I think that's number one. Number two, um, we're also inspired by artists who come from different backgrounds and are able to um, like come up with art pieces that are very contemporary and avant-garde. Well, here today we're showcasing Inon de Belen. Um, Art House decided to partner with Inon uh, because one of the pillars of Art House is women empowerment. I think it's very important for us and today um, to understand what the opportunity is in working with artists like this. She focuses on clay. Uh, everything is handmade here, so it's a little bit more intricate and takes a while to do because you need to uh, dry it up, mold it, dry it up, mold it. Today, we showcase his inspiration from his being a, a couturier to actually sculptural art. So it's very interesting on the transition. 